Yo guys, what is happening with White Global Games and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Build a City series on the modded world. We're back here again for a pretty exciting episode, at least in my opinion. I'm very excited to show you what I've been working on. We're not actually going to be building anything today, um, but I'm very excited to show you. I just said that, didn't I? But I am still very excited, obviously. Yes. Um, to show you what I've been working on, um, it's pretty cool. It's it's kind of more of a, a, a thing than a place. Not no, sorry, it's more of a place than one thing. It's like it's like there's there's a bunch of stuff. Uh first of all, I want to show you something that I've been working on. In fact, this is kind of part of the whole thing. I want to show you guys some uh, residential buildings I've been working on. Kind of fun, kinda of like, you know, cool some houses. Not like the big mansions, not the hill houses that we've been, you know, more used to. But I want to show you a lot of the uh regular sort of suburban houses, you could say, or the uh or I guess just the, yeah, the, the suburbs. Uh, so those kind of houses. And I want to show you where I've been building them, what kind of progress I've made on the world, as well as I built one really cool beach house I want to share. Uh, and that's going to be the video, but I want to take you through them all and show you what I've done. So yeah, hopefully this is an interesting video. I'm hoping that you guys can get some inspiration from them and whatnot. But we'll start off down here. You guys have seen a lot of these beach houses, but you haven't seen the new one here at the end. This is a sort of more Italian villa style, very traditional. Um, you know, it's obviously still, I think most of them, are inspired by the Corrales Mansion, technically, because that he was kind of the first one that came up with the design. If I'm right, there may have been people before him, of course. And this isn't really a... I wouldn't say it's like a, a singular design that somebody would own with the spruce and the sandstone and the bricks, because it's a pretty... pretty. I guess it makes sense to use this color scheme. It uses common sense, I suppose you could say, um, when you're when you're designing these kind of builds. Anyway, uh, this is sort of following that theme, I suppose, and it's a nice kind of uh, building with a nice layout. There's a little deck up here above the garage, which is kind of hard to get to, but it, it works. And uh, obviously we got the shaders on, giving us all the nice views. Apologize for a little bit of lag, but we are just looking at stuff. Um, yeah, you walk in this building, there's not much to see. However, if we walk out the back side, you're going to want to see this, because I think it turned out really nice. Um, obviously you walk out onto the beach, which is super cool. Um, and then we've got this nice little patio area. And you can see all the other houses here as well. But I've done these kind of cool decks. Um, which, you know, you could sit out on and whatnot. They've got these cool little railings and uh, little, I guess, uh, arches going on, as well as a hot tub here on the third level. Just thought that'd be kind of a fun feature and a little, you know, access point. What a view to uh, to enjoy your pool or hot tub in. So I think, it, uh, I think it turned out pretty nicely. And just, again, a nice little house to uh, add a little bit of detail to the world. And also, I've been trying to fill these in, you know, maybe doing once or two a week, I should say. Um, just because we need to get up to the pier here, where eventually we're going to have the big parking lot. And they are probably going to sort of end somewhere around here, the houses. So, not too far off. Probably need five, ten more. Um, something like that. Anyway, what do I want to show you today? We should not enter from this side, but we can. Uh, I want to show you some more of the suburban houses I've been working on. Uh, really cool, different style than what we've been doing over the last quite a few episodes and I've been looking back at the channel I really haven't done a lot around houses like this um, because we've been working on such big cities always in the past and this is sort of started off as more of a suburb so I feel like we've learned a lot um yeah I mean I've just I've just explored so many different things but this is a new area right here on our right and it's kind of hard to see in the sun um but yeah I just feel like I just feel like we didn't do enough houses and stuff so here we are with the houses and uh, they're one of my favorite things to build let's start off here with this one on the corner which I think turned out awesome I'll go to the front first and we can take a look at it here. But it's got this really nice uh, black window pattern. It's a brick build. I just sort of came up with it. Uh, and it's got a nice deck on the front, obviously, which I think adds a nice bit of detail there as well. Walk inside, there's really nothing to see. A couple of entrances in the back there. We'll go around the side here and I'll show you that stuff. Uh, I won't go inside because there's there's nothing at all. In fact, it's missing the door. What the heck? Let's grab a door right now and uh, and bam. Okay, so we did do some building today. Um, and, and it's missing glass. Hold on a second. Okay, so anyway, it follows a very basic sort of uh, Georgian style, I guess, um, and it's got this nice roof that's not uh, not like arched. It's not like one of these roofs where it comes to a peak at the end, uh, or a better example is over here. Yeah, these roofs have like one peak, and they come to a peak at the end here, obviously, with this sort of triangular shape. And then the other roofs uh, I've been doing more frequently are more like this, where they kind of wrap around the entire building and have a peak in the middle. And those are like the two major styles of roofs I like to use. Obviously, these ones and this one even beside it. Uh, follow this very basic uh, pattern. It's a much simpler roof to do. So I try to, you know, mix up a little bit by adding these dormers in and whatnot, which I think turned out looking really good as well and just adds a nice bit of detail. Uh, I was taking notes on real buildings and the windows don't usually line up, especially in the older ones at the top and the bottom. So I wanted to sort of add some some variation in that. So I've done that here on this building. One of the cool things that we're going to try here, probably in the next episode, is building a, a house by just simply going around my axe and placing walls in a random shape. And then we'll go ahead, not count in any blocks, we'll go ahead and add the windows where we think and just make cool houses like that. I think that could be really fun and a really quick way of doing it, but also making them still look really cool. So I'm excited to do that. Uh, nice little 
pathway or I guess porch in the back. The driveway is right here, and uh, and we got some fences. Trying to keep it realistic. I had some trees as well and some little flower beds and whatnot, which I think you know help a little bit. Uh, overall, very happy with how that house turned out, and it's just in the corner there. Next up, we've got this kind of house right here, which again is a, a fairly nice looking one. Um, it's it's definitely not as detailed as the last one. It does have a nice little you know roof and whatnot. But the goal is, I mean, we had to place probably a hundred or two hundred of these houses over the entire city. So I'm not going to try to, you know, focus on each one too much. I'm just trying to, you know, kind of burn them off quickly, but still add a nice little bit of detail. Like this is where we want to be, I think, over here. Um, but this one still turned out looking very nice. A uh, nice little driveway coming down the side here and a, and an entrance. And nothing down on the inside yet, but I might go ahead and uh, add all the floors in at some point. These are also kind of in a weird area because obviously we have like an industrial sort of building or some, you know, commercial and industrial buildings right across the street. So I wanted to kind of start to transform this into a residential neighborhood. I suppose I could have done like some trees or a little park or something in between because uh, this is also like a parking lot in the back of these shops. Anyway, I think it's okay. All right, so let's go to the next one here. This nice little blue house I did. I wanted to do like a, um, a blue sided house. Uh, you see them a lot with like the white uh, framed windows. But uh, it doesn't really work because obviously there's no siding in Minecraft. Kind of sucks. The bricks are, you know, a great a great thing to use. I suppose, I suppose this could be interesting to play around with in the future. Because this kind of looks like siding actually. So we might be able to do something. We might be able to do something with the quartz. But yeah, it's too bad. I might even look into some mods or something to add some siding blocks. But I don't want to get this world too modded. I mean, uh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, this building turned out looking really cool as well. Nice little bungalow. Not much going on here. A uh, little bit of design. I did put in the uh, floor and whatnot. Um, and that, that's basically it. I also had a really cool way of doing these uh, roofs with World Edit. Yeah, I can actually just learn that I can just walk my way in uh, and do the squares and place them all with the slabs. That makes it a lot easier to slowly make my way up to the top. It makes it a lot quicker and uh, something that I'll show you again in the next video. Anyway, that is that building. Nothing really to show here, but just a very basic little bungalow. And finally, I actually really like how this one turned out. I wasn't so sure about it earlier, but now that I see it again, I, I quite like it. It's a uh, it's supposed to just be a modern bungalow that you would see in the, you know, maybe it was a new build or whatever that they would put in an older style neighborhood. Um, and I think it turned out looking really good as well. Um, it follows some very basic sort of techniques, this big gray pillar. It's a two by, I guess, three uh, in the middle here. And, uh, and it goes, follows it, you know, the roof line goes right down the middle of the house, kind of divides it. The uh, garage is right here. The roof raises up to the garage, trying to add lots of different variations in the height. And if we walk into it here, you know, a nice little size. You probably couldn't fit too much in here. Maybe a couple of bedrooms and a very little uh, eating area and a little living room. I don't know. You could probably put a living room in this sort of area here and the kitchen over here with a little dining room, I suppose, or, a, or another little sitting area. And then you could probably put two bedrooms over here, I'd imagine, and maybe slide a bathroom in there somewhere as well. I don't know. And then there's a little garage in here, which is nice. And if we go into the backyard again, I don't think there's really anything going on back here. No, there's not. Um, but I might go ahead and add some little pools and stuff. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of room for backyards here. But you know what? It's a reasonable amount. And, uh, and yeah, we'll just have to detail them up. Anyway, that's what I've got going on here for residential houses. Unfortunately, I don't think I can fit two more in this spot here. I think that would just either be one house, but that's a pretty big lot for one house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do one, two, uh, and then three houses all along the back row here. And that should help kind of uh, squeeze some more houses in there. So, yeah, definitely uh, looking good, though. And I'm excited to... Uh, to start on the residential neighborhoods, of course. And I'm really uh, happy with how these ones are turning out so far. Hopefully you guys are liking them as well. If you have any suggestions for whether it be block patterns or certain houses that you want to see built, uh, roof designs, everything uh, like that, please leave them down below and I will definitely take a look at them for next episode and for future episodes where we're building houses like this. But uh, yeah, I think this neighborhood has turned out really nicely already and I can't wait to do some more building on it. So I will join you guys next episode for that. And uh, for now, that is a little tour of the suburban neighborhood. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to go below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.